In this video, we're going to have a look at how to add a shift, edit a shift, and delete a shift after we finish with it. So first of all, to add a shift, all we need to do is click anywhere on the white space that you can see. I'm going to click here next to Adnan's name on Wednesday. By default, that lands at Adnan, of course, and selected him as an employee. I can enter at start time, say 6 a.m. through to 4 p.m. I can add a break. Let's give him a break at 11 a.m. to 11.30. And I can decide what location. By default, it's going to be the location underneath where we are, but you can select other locations as well. Optionally, you can choose a qualification. Now, it might be necessary, for example, in this guest services location that one of our employees needs to have uh, an RSA license. So we can choose RSA, and I'm going to remove add in for a second. When I click this white space, it'll give me a list of recommended employees that have that. So I'm going to choose Akram and Ella on my shift. Now, I can choose a work type. A work type is a description of the kind of shift that's worked. Most of them are self-explanatory, but just talk to your payroll admin person if you're not sure what they are. We do have help guidance on each of these and what they do. If there's nothing specific that you need to include here, just leave it blank. You can select a role. Roles can be set up specific to your organisation and give you colour coding and, a, and an option to filter the roster after it's been selected. So here I might choose waiter. I can add a note, help with opening up, and I can click save. That note will go to the employee when they get their shift. So you can now see that two shifts have been built for Akram and Ella. It shows the time that they're working, the total duration, and that they've got a break identified by the coffee cup. If you want to see the dollar values of what you've spent on each of these costs, and you've been given access as part of your access privileges, you can click on show costs, and that'll calculate a cost for each shift. If you want to see a breakdown of that cost, you can click the dollar amount, and you can see a cost breakdown. Here you can see the employees getting casual ordinary hours based on an award rate and an allowance for working between 12am and 7am as part of that shift. Once I've added the shift, I can make edits to it by clicking on the shift again. Here I might want to decide that I want to start the, the employee at 7 o'clock instead to reduce the value of that penalty that I saw and click save. I can also optionally delete a shift as well. If I click on the shift tile, scroll to the bottom, I can click delete this shift. If I want to bot delete all shifts, I click on the delete three shifts button up here at the top. You can also see an overlay of the shifts in day view. Day view gives you an easier option to move the start and finish times accordingly. So I might push this on back to end at 3 o'clock. And that's how you add, edit and delete a shift. In the next video, we're going to look at how we move and copy shifts that we've already created.